I'm very happy to be with you today to introduce my topic about uh, nutrigenomic. Uh, nutrigenomic is a new field in nutrition. And uh, before I start this presentation, I just want to ask you a question. Why do we each respond so differently to food? We eat the same food sometimes and we react so differently. So hopefully we will find an answer by the end of this presentation. Just think about it. Okay, so the aim of this study is to define what is nutrigenomic. I'm wondering if somebody hear about nutrigenomic or not, but we will go in depth in definition of nutrigenomic and review its current state in uh, research. Also, I will explore by this study the current and potential impact of nutritional genomics on and its effect on primary health care. And finally, we want to know if there is any possibility to study and use nutrigenomic in our life and health. Uh, this research is a review research, so mainly I search library database and use summary conceptual and empirically published literature. Mainly I look in the European Nutrigenomic Organization, which is work and on this topic and have many reports and publication and newsletter. Uh, the strategy used in searching I used some keywords and phrases like uh, nutrigenomic, Europe, uh, diet gene interaction, and mainly individualized or personalized nutrition. Uh, the articles selected mainly the use of nutrigenomic in non transmissible chronic diseases. And finally, we evaluate all the evidences by two people to prevent error and omission in this review. So, as I mentioned, nutrigenomic is a very emergent or emergent new topic in nutrition. To understand it, I will go through the evolution of nutrients. First, there is a concept about nutrient. It is energy yielding concept. All of you know that we took the macronutrients mainly to take energy for our body. The second concept is nutrient is used as metabolic regulator concept. We have in our body many metabolic reactions and the nutrient used as cofactors for these reactions in our body. Also, there is a relatively new uh, field in nutrition which is used a uh, nutrient as protective or disease prevention concept, which means that nutrient is used as medicine. It's called pharmaceutical or nutraceutical in uh, treatment and prevention. The concept for which is our topic is the gene modulating concept, which means that the nutrient can affect our gene so obviously. And this leads us to the need to move from all our studies is done in nutrition to look at the epidemiological and physiological uh, pattern of nutrient, but now we go in depth to see the molecular biology and genetics in nutrition. Also, there is an old statement by Hippocrates which stated that positive health requires knowledge of man's primary constitutions, which is mainly our gene, and the power of various food. This is very old statement, but it actually uh, expresses the meaning of nutrigenomic. What lead to start nutrigenomic? The success in human genome project lead all the nutritionist to think about nutrigenomic and to use the food bioactive components to 
affect our genes. What food can strongly, or how can food strongly affect our genes? You know that we have our body, and we have organs, and we have tissue, and the smallest unit in our body is the cell. In the cell, we have the nucleus. The nucleus is carry the genes. The gene is very small unit in our body, and it affects our health so uh, clearly. So, if any, there is any nutrient deficiency, this will increase the nuclear mitochondrial DNA damage. If there is any damage in DNA, this will result in mutation of DNA and will increase the risk of cancer. Also, we have some minerals and vitamins like folate, vitamin B6 uh, and B12. They can cause chromosomal breakage. To understand exactly what is the meaning of nutrigenomic, we have two components. We have nutrient which we eat and we have the gene. Okay, so the effect of gene on nutrient is called nutrigenetic. And the effect of nutrient on gene is called nutrigenomic, and this is our topic today. Nutrigenomic, to understand nutrigenomic, I know that the terminologies for genetic is a little bit complicated, but I will try to make it very simple that the nutrigenomic is based only on some types of which we call the omics techniques. The omic techniques, first we have the genomics. The genomics is the amount of the total DNA we have in our body. Transcriptomic is the total messenger RNA. When I say DNA and RNA or messenger RNA, I go in depth in gene and uh, chromosomes. Also we have proteomics. Proteomics means the total expressed protein in our body. Finally, we have metabolomics. In our body, we have the metabolism. We know that the metabolism, we have catabolism and anabolism. Every diet we eat it, we have catabolism, to it is uh, a smallest unit, and after that we have the catabolism to build a new nutrient. Just to show you what is nutrigenomic mean in this uh, slide, here we have regulation by diet. Okay, so what happened? The diet affect our DNA, RNA, protein, metabolites, and health. So it have a direct effect on gene expression process. And if we think about this, actually, if we uh, treat everybody or uh, think about every patient as individual patient, it will help a lot because every uh, patient or every person have 99% we are equal in our DNA sequence, but 0.1% we are different. So it makes a big difference even in the economic uh, calculations. So here we have food gene expression. We have two types of nutrient. We have essential nutrients like protein, carbohydrate, and fat, minerals, and vitamins. And also we have non-essential nutrients, which is phytochemicals. It is chemical compounds found in food. All these affect the gene and result in changes in our inflammatory response. Sometimes we ask ourselves why we uh, not respond to, for example, microbes, okay? Some, which is not something related to immunity. It is something related to genetic makeup of our body. So, and we have also, it affects the cell differentiation, also the carcinogen metabolism, or our D DNA repair. The DNA, it is very important and sensitive. Uh, I know, five minutes? It's okay, yeah. Uh, in our body. So, I think I have more to <laughs> okay. So, uh, examples of the nutrients that affect our body is niacin, vitamin A, vitamin D, and folic acid. 
I will give you a brief description of folic acid. We have here, first we ingest the nutrients and then this nutrient is digested, digested and metabolized as we know in our digestive system and absorbed by the small intestine and go through the blood vessels to other organs and the dietary methionine is enter the nucleus where the gene is found so it affects this methyl group from the methionine it binds to our gene which result in that DNA methylation occur and this will either affect the gene expression positively or negatively. So to conclude that we know that nutrient we need it for growth, for maintenance, but now we have to think about nutrient altered gene expression or genome structure. Diet affects our health depend upon individual genetic makeup. So after I think after a while, everybody will have his genetic makeup map in his body. And maybe we think about it is very expensive to make this, but if we know it very well, it will be economically uh, very effective because everybody you can treat it as individual, like individualized medicine. Also we have, before we as a nutritionist or dietitian, we treated everybody depending on nutritional requirement or nutritional status. But now we treat it by diet depending on its genotype. Also, there is a very important point we have to think about in nutrigenomic, the ethical aspect, because we have it to uh, treat it very carefully. Uh, nutritional genomic must be supplied and studied in all the department of clinical nutrition as it is obligatory subject. Here in Europe, we have nutrigenomic organization associations. It make all the uh, research and uh, reviews for personalized nutrition. And every year, there is an annual report about nutrigenomic from the, uh, nutri, uh, from the European Association. Finally, in the past, we have said that nutritionist or dietitian that as if it is single component like one size fit all. What do we mean by that? Either we have prevention of deficiencies like vitamin A deficiencies, we have to treat it by sources of vitamin A. Present In the present, we have combination of health segment, the nutritionist only work on weight management, impaired cholesterol level, food allergy, pregnancy, obesity, and other. But recently, we think very carefully about personalized nutrition. So the, nutritional, the nutritionist or dietitian must be analyzed the genome for everybody to, to know his genetic makeup and to know what is the exact food we need to suit our genes. So as, me, as I mentioned before, we start from the human genome project, which stimulate our appetite as nutritionists to, to go further with personalized nutrition and think about it, what your gene like. And thank you for your listening. I hope I have been time. Thank you.